Spreadsheets are a common reporting tool for tabular data, but sometimes we need to work with data from irregular spreadsheets such as this, having not just a table of values, but data before and after the table that are not as structured as the table. Here we have an Excel workbook showing daily meter readings and chlorine tests for different locations. Above the table, we see the report name, company names, and the month. At the bottom, we see the total water used and daily average. The table comprises the detail section. The levels above the detail are called appends. Those would be the report name, month, and so on. Lastly, we have the footer, which is the level of data below the detail. In this worksheet, that would include the total water used and the daily average. Let's bring the file into Monarch and open it in Excel Worksheet Design. Here we see the template panel, our worksheet in the main area, and the cell information panel which displays the properties of the selected cell. A detailed template has already been created for us by default, but there are no traps or columns yet. Traps will tell Monarch what data to extract by defining the properties to watch out for. Let's now select one of the detail rows and click on Add Columns, which easily defines a trap for us and brings up the preview grid below, showing all the detailed data that will be captured. Clicking on the Auto Size button will help us see more of our worksheet. Triangles have appeared in the detailed cells of the worksheet signifying hits. The solid triangles indicate that a trap has been defined on that column, in our case, column A. Next, let's have a look at the column headers, which, as we see here, occupy rows 4 to 6. Monarch can easily extract this. Just highlight the rows and choose Define Headers. The default column names are now replaced with the correct names. Monarch has constructed the headers based on how these appear in the worksheet. For instance, Time Tested, Chlorine Residual, and so on are under Chlorine Tests for the morning, and we have another set of these columns for chlorine tests done in the evening. These are correctly reflected in the preview grid's headers as well. Next, let's capture our append data. That would be the month. We can either choose append from the new template dropdown or choose the Capture This Data as an Append button. This is also available from the right-click menu. A new column is now added to the preview grid. Let's rename the column as Month. Finally, let's try a footer say the total water used. First, choose Footer under New Template and select the cell. Click Add Trap to set a trap based on the properties of this cell and then Add Column. We now have the total water used. Let's rename the column and we're done. Let's now bring this into the prep interface where we can proceed with data preparation, transformation, analysis, and more.